Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronix Sweater and this tutorial, I want to show you how I did the color grading and skin retouching for this very image from the very start to the very end. So many of you loved how I color graded or even edited these natural light photos. So I want to show you what I did for color grading these images from the very start to the very end. And if at all this is what you have wanted to watch on this channel, I request that you hit the like button because it's going to help you to push and recommend this video to many people out there so simply smash the like button so you can see what i did in capture one so this is the image the raw file before processing and this is what we want to achieve in capture one. but usually when i'm doing color grading i tend to do it in both capture one and also photoshop so what i do i just come to the image so first of all i do the basic color corrections and contrast issues in the image so i mean you i'm using capture one by the way, Capture 121 to process and color correct this image. So I'll simply come and take my highlights down and open up my shadows just a little bit. Then I'll simply take down my whites slightly and add some tiny contrast of around three. Then I'll come the levels and simply take up the levels to add a, a richer contrast to the image. So after doing the basic issues, I'll simply come, create a new field adjustment layer by right click on this plus icon. And I'm going to create a field adjustment layer on which the color grading is going to be placed. So usually when you color grading, you don't want the color grading to affect the rest of the image and only want the color grading to affect the skin. So I just want to vote to create an even skin color or skin tone for this model. So I'll scroll down to where it says color editor right here and simply come to skin tone and simply right, left click to get my color picker tool and with the color picker tool I can simply zoom in and choose an area on the skin which I want the rest of the model skin to look like or to resemble. So I'll just choose this area right here and it has chosen the colors that fall within that color range. So I'll simply come to uniformity and simply take up the uniformity slider for both the saturation and the hues until when I feel like the skin is looking more on the uniform side. So you can see that the skin is having a little bit of that green tint added to it. So in this case we have where it says amount and under the amount slider you can either add magentas to the skin tone or you can as well add more greens to the skin tone. So since I want to eliminate the green color within the skin tone, I'll simply take down the hues towards uh, the magenta or the reds to eliminate that kind of color that was existing within the skin of the model. So after I have done this, we are simply going to clear this layer mask by simply right clicking here and simply coming to clear mask and it's going to clear the color grading from the skin or from the overall image. So simply want to mask or paint the color grading on only a skin so how to do that is simply come and get the brush tool and after getting the brush tool you can use the open and close brackets on the keyboard to reduce or increase on the size of the brush and simply press m m is for the mask and that is going to show me where i'm going to be painting so that i don't paint extra so i'm just going to paint and every area you're painting in is going to be having this kind of red mask meaning the color grading that we initially cleared from the image is going to be appearing on or beneath where we paint i hope you understand what i'm trying to mean so i just come and paint on only uh, the skin just like that and i'll just come this other side and only paint only on the skin of the model just like this so i'm just doing a rough job but you can always take your time while masking out so Right now I have painted on the skin area, so simply press M to clear the color grading or to hide the mask from affecting the overall image. So I'll simply come and add some contrast to the skin by taking up the contrast slider and simply open up my shadows slightly and that is going to brighten up the skin a little bit. So after I did this, the next thing you can see that these two images are looking identical. So what I'm going to do after color grading this, I'll take the image to Photoshop by simply coming to image, coming down to edit with and Photoshop 2020. 
and simply come to edit variants so i'm going to open the image into photoshop and first of all do a skin retouching and lastly do the final color grading and basic adjustments on this image so i just want to show you how i usually make the image pop and stand out and the final details that i usually add to a photo while i am editing it to make it look a little bit different so right now the image is now open into photoshop so i'm just going to be using frequency separation to edit this very image and i'm just i'm going to be using rather my actions to fasten or speed up my retouching process and those interested in my actions you can simply check the links in the description of this video to purchase or buy these actions that are going to help you fasten or speed up your retouching process so first things first i crop the image in a ratio of 4 to 5 because the image is for posting on instagram and after cropping i'll simply come to actions and simply come and select 16 bit and simply play my 16 bit action so in this way i have to determine the amount of skin textures that i want to remain with in uh, my image after editing so zoom in and look for the textures that seem to be prominent and simply take up the radius up to when those textures are just starting to disappear so six is okay press ok and action is going to continue playing so after it is done playing the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to come and get the mixer brush tool and first of all i don't tend to use the black and white layer i hide the high frequency layer and simply select the low frequency layer so i'll simply right click under the brushes and get the mixer brush tool with these settings right here make sure hardness is set all the way to zero clean brush is selected Clean brush after each and every stroke is also selected. The weight is 9, load 75, mix 90, flow 100%. And this option is 10%. And measure sample alias is not checked. And after this, I'm just going to simply smoothen or even the skin tones by simply left clicking and dragging just like that. So that I can create a smooth transition between the skin color or skin tones for this model skin so i'm just going to be painting just like that and you can see this is going to be or make the image look better so i i think i'll just forward this so that the tutorial is not a long one hello welcome back and now you can see i'm done working on the skin and you can see the before and after for the skin retouching and i've just used the mixer brush tool so after using the mixer brush tool i'm simply going to come and incorporate the lasso tool technique by simply selecting the lasso tool with new selection mode active the feather is 22 pixels and i'm just going to come select on the skin area so that i can refine or fine tune the areas i may have missed out while i was using the mixer brush tool so come to filter come back to blend come to gaussian blur right here with the radius of six i'll simply multiply six by three and type in 18 so for your radius you just multiply that radius by three and type in that value so i'm just going to do this on the face of the model right click and come to gaussian blur so this is for fine tuning the areas that i may have missed out when i was using the mixer brush tool to blend the transitions within the skin of the model so i think i'm done using this technique and the image looks okay so i just come and get to the high frequency layer and get the clone stamp tool make sure the hardness is set to zero and align the selected sample is current layer the mode and opacity say left at default the mode is no more past 100 percent the floor at 100 percent and i'll simply zoom in and simply alternate and copy and paste so you left click and press the alternate key on the keyboard copy and paste over the blemishes that i am clicking or removing so right now after you have cleaned up or removed the blemishes the next thing is going to be doing the final touches onto the model skin and even color grading so what i did i created a stamp visible layer by pressing shift alternate ctrl e on the keyboard 
then if at all using Mac, it is Shift Option Command E. Then come to filter and come to camera arrow filter. So in the camera arrow filter, that's where I did actually most of the magic regarding this very image. So I came to my color mixer tool in the hue and saturation and I came to luminous and simply darken the oranges just like that. Then after I came to the hue values and I simply made both the yellows. I made the yellows and greens a little bit. I made the yellows more on the green side and I made the greens more on the aqua side. Then I came to the saturation and simply turn down the saturation slightly so that the model can really uh, stand out. And you can see what the skin tone has turned out to look. And now the model is turning out in this case. And simply hit OK. So next thing I did, I simply came to my hue and saturation right here. And you know what I came to? I came to master and simply came the reds and took down the lightness for my hue and saturation basically. Then I came and selected the yellows and did the same. I just took out the saturation of the yellows. Then the next thing I did, I created a black and white adjustment layer right here and changed the blend mode from normal to multiply and simply dropped down the opacity up to around 4. Then after I had done all this, the next thing was simply doing a little bit of eye whitening. But remember, this is not all. So I came to you and saturation, then selected the master. So I'm under master and I desaturated this. I press Ctrl or Command I on the keyboard. Then I got the brush tool. This is a normal brush tool with the hardness of zero or passing in the flat hundred percent. I made sure I had white as the foreground color. So I'll just simply zoom in by pressing Ctrl plus or Command plus on the keyboard. And I'm just going to simply paint only in the eyes to do my eye whitening. So this is what I did as I was uh, making the eyes white. Remember, when I color graded, remember my eyes had some yellows and it intensified those yellows to the orange color. So basically, this is what I did for the color grading. And I did just one more step add shine or glow to a model skin so in order to add that shine or glow to the model skin what i did i simply came to the curves adjustment layer and in the curves adjustment layer i simply clicked on this brightest point and simply brightened up the overall image then i double clicked on the curves adjustment layer then i simply came to blend if and took these sliders by clicking and holding down until only when the brightest areas are displaying within this very photo. Then after I press the alternate key, or you can use the option key, and I split this to add that nice beautiful shine and glow to the models first. Then I did one last thing. You can see this is also affecting the background. So I inverted this by pressing Ctrl I. Then I simply got the brush tool. And with the brush tool, I only painted on the brightest areas with white as a foreground color and that added that nice and beautiful glow to the model skin. Then I came to my selective color adjustment layer and simply intensified the blacks just a little. So after this is all I did regarding retouching color grading. So you can see the quick before and after for Photoshop. So this is the image straight out of Capture One. And this is the image after retouching and color grading within Photoshop before, after. And this is it for today's video. And if at all you have learned a thing or two, don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel, Ronis from Ronis Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.